Listen, if you've been here before, you know I have an obsession with eyeshadow palettes. So anytime I can do a video centered around my eyeshadow palette collection, I'm gonna do it. And so today's video, I am going to talk about 10 palettes in my collection that are my favorite colorful palettes. Now, these aren't necessarily rainbow palettes, although some of them are. But what I was thinking when I was preparing for this video is if someone were to ask me, I love color, what palette would you suggest to me? These are the 10 that I kind of just pulled out of my mind and decided to include in this video. Hello and welcome if you're new here. My name is Rachel and if you're not new here, thank you so much for coming back. Let's get to 10 palettes that I love in my collection that are colorful and I'm going to rank the top five. All right, a couple of disclaimers. The first thing is this is all just based on my own opinion. Just because I think something is colorful doesn't mean you have to think it's colorful. I did a video a while ago called neutral palettes with a twist and I got a few angry comments of people saying that's not neutrals with a twist. There is no real rule book here. So this is just kind of what I think of when I think of colorful. I'm gonna start with this grouping of five here in no particular order. I guess you could say they are honorable mentions before we get to the top five. And honestly, all of these palettes are indie brands. I even went through my mainstream drawer and I couldn't find any that I really wanted to include. So all 10 of these are indie brands, which in my opinion, indie brands do eyeshadows the best. So we have first up the D Signature Blooming Basket Palette. I actually really enjoy this palette so much more than I thought I was going to. And I should also preface this by saying, I am a neutral girl at heart. I love neutrals, but I do love dabbling in color as well. I really enjoy this palette. I think the quality of the shadows is very nice. This palette started her new formulation of mattes. She is trying to improve her matte quality. And I do feel like these mattes are definitely stepped up a little bit more. I really like that you have these more bright pops of color, but up top, we also have some deepening tones. And that is something I love in any palette, light, mid-tone and deep mattes. I'm able to create a lighter look. I'm able to create a darker look and mix and match. So I really love the depth in this. And I really, really love DD Signature Shimmers, in my opinion. That is the standout of the brand. And I really like having different textures in my shimmers. We have two more, they're not textured, but they're definitely more sparkly multi-chromes, a little bit more dimensional. And then we have two duo chromes that are a lot smoother. So I love having that variety of textures. I really love the selection of colors for those shimmer shades. They go really well with the rest of the palette. And when I first looked at this palette, I was like, ooh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to put looks together, but somehow I really was able to create really nice looks. I was inspired by it. So yeah, I really suggest this one and it's very affordable. By the way, um, as I'm going through these palettes, if I did receive them in PR, I'm popping it up on the screen while I show you the close-ups and swatches. And if I have any affiliate codes with the brands, I will pop them up as well. So Unearthly Cosmetics is one of my favorite brands of all time. I think their eyeshadow formula is just honestly so incredibly beautiful. And I really, really love their new reformulated shimmer formula. It is just so, so good. So of course I had to include their most rainbow-esque palette, which is the Get Groovy palette. This did come in their summer mystery box. I do believe at the time of filming, these are still available and they are very, very discounted. So this was in the larger mystery box and it is truly a colorful, bright, fun palette for summer time. That's at least how I would see it. You know, I love purples. So this little quad over here is calling my name. I love oranges and yellows. I'm not much of a blue girl, but I do feel like whenever I use an unearthly palette, no matter what the color is, I love my look because the quality is so good. I really love that they have these, oh, this beautiful shimmer formula, like I said, a little more of like iridescent duochromes, which you can layer over other shades to create different looks, or of course use them on their own. They're just so beautiful, so, so beautiful. I've also always loved Unearthly Cosmetics matte formula since the beginning, and it continues to be great. I love that this is more of a curated color story in terms of a rainbow palette, and it's not a true rainbow palette. Not every single shade of the rainbow is in here, but you get what I'm saying, right? You get what I'm saying. It's great. By the way, what I'm wearing on my eyes it has not been announced yet. Okay, so stay tuned for that. But I do wanna highlight my earrings. How cute are these? Amanda from Makeup Just For Fun, she has a jewelry brand called Style Just For Fun. 
and I got these in my Creators and Friends goodie bag and I thought it went with my whole look today. Side note, let's get back to the video. Next palette is not a rainbow palette, but to me, it is a bright, colorful, fun palette that I freaking love. I love the color story of this and it is the Citrus Punch palette from Simply Posh. Like I said, I love oranges, I love yellows, I love warm tones and this is a fun, bright, ooh, like saturated, citrusy, summertime fun type of palette. If you're not looking for a rainbow palette and you're like, Rachel, I have too many rainbow palettes in my collection. I just want something bright, poppy, neon, warm toned. This particular palette that I have is in the old formula, like the original line that they sent out. And the quality of this is not, in my opinion, not as good as their other palettes. And they have recently said that they are reformulating this palette because the shadow in this are pressed pretty hard in the pan. With that being said, I still like the palette. I still really enjoy using it, but I'm definitely looking forward to the new version with a little bit more loosely pressed shadows. I feel like it's just gonna make it even more vibrant, make it pop even more, but love this color story. It's definitely, in my opinion, colorful. It's not neutral, in my opinion, but not a rainbow palette either. Next, we have another one of my favorite brands that I literally could have I could have picked five palettes from this brand alone, but I tried not to include more than two palettes per brand for this video. But Blend Buddy, they do colorful palettes so, so well, and especially if you're looking for colorful nets. Now, this one is one that I picked out just because I think it's a unique colorful palette. It's certainly not a rainbow palette, but if you're looking for more grungy colorful tones, I think this is so good. And I also love the variety and the two different sides that you're getting from this. So if you cover up these three rows or columns rather, you have this more like grungy, muted, but still colorful. Of course we have like a monochrome row, but these two I would say are a little bit more on that colorful side. And then we have this more bright poppy matching the flowers on the cover. It is just the perfect blend of bright, colorful poppy, grungy, different muted colors. The quality of the shadows from Blend Bunny is phenomenal. I really love that they have more like iridescent duochromes. These are different for them. I could have picked so many palettes, but this is one of my favorite palettes from the brand. All right, the last one I'm gonna mention before I get to my top five is another uh, leaning rainbow palette, but it doesn't have every single color in the rainbow. And that is the Soul Mana 2 from Odin's Eye. Uh, look at the cover. I mean, she's colorful. On the inside, we have the most beautiful, I think spring slash summertime color story. And I do appreciate a colorful palette that has a lot of variety. Like I said, with the Blend Bunny, we have blues up top, we have purples in the center, and then we have these more warm saturated tones on the bottom. So you could consider these neutrals in a way, but at the same time, I think they're more colorful neutrals. They're not all browns. We have this bright pop of orange, this bright pop of like a yellowy orange, and we do have that deepening up shade, which is nice. Again, I don't love blues, but when I did create blue looks with this palette, uh, I loved how they came out. The other cool thing about this that I wanna mention is that there are no special shades in here, which to me, I appreciate a palette that has a lot of just standard shimmers. I love a standard shimmer that just looks like it does in the pan on your eyes. It's really pretty, it's really shiny. So if you're someone who doesn't love like super shifty shadows or you want something that's a little just more of a standard shimmer but still colorful, this one is a great one. All right, now we're gonna start in with our top five. So coming in at number five, I have the Unearthly Cosmetics Don't Be Jelly palette. Now again, this is not a rainbow palette at all by any means, but in my opinion, you are going to get colorful looks out of this for the most part, but I do love this palette. The quality, this was like one of the first palettes that I tried with their new formula and I was shocked, blown away. And again, looking at this, when I first opened it, I was like, am I gonna be able to pair things together and create looks? But the looks I got out of this, I freaking loved. Even not loving cool toned greens and blues, I did create a look using those tones and I loved it. And there are definitely a lot of special shades in here that are just 
beautiful. And I, and I keep going on about their shimmer formula. And the thing I like about it is they are smooth. They're not chunky. They don't create a ton of fallout. They're not texture enhancing on the lid. They're just really, really pr pretty smooth shadows that create so much dimension and beaut like just freaking beautiful. Okay. You're already seeing the swatches, but I just, I have to swatch. Look at that. delicious. And again, if you're like Rachel, I don't want a rainbow palette. I like blues. I like purples. I like greens. This is definitely one that I would suggest. Coming in at number four, this palette, when it first came out, I was not expecting to love as much as I did, but when I started using it, and it was a collaboration with three collaborators. And this was the palette I was reaching for the most. Honestly, didn't expect it at all whatsoever, but this is the planet spirit palette between Odin's eye and my friend, Betty Jean. And I'm not saying this as a bias to her before I even met her, I ranked this pretty high in my palette ranking for last year. I love this palette. I love the cover. Here she is in her element with all these animals. She's an animal lover for sure. And on the inside, I love, love this color story. It is bright. And I always say it gives me nineties Sanrio. Do you guys remember the Sanrio stores in the mall where you go in? This is this encapsulates that for me. <laughs> and the way that I really loved using this personally, it was easy for me as someone who doesn't wear color all the time is creating two shadow looks. And she set it up in a perfect way where you can just use the two that are in columns, ba boom, ba boom, and create a look that just works. And I love my looks every time, surprised at how much I wanted to reach for this, especially in the summertime. Very easy to use, the quality of the shadows is phenomenal. There is a multi-chrome up here, which I always love when they include one special shade, but really beautiful palette. Was shocked at how much I wanted to reach for it. And it's a plus that I love Betty Jean. Coming in at number three, I have a much larger palette, but this palette just quality wise, spectacular. The Rick and Morty palette from Glamlight. I know absolutely nothing about Rick and Morty. I've never seen the show. So the IP doesn't really call to me, but I will say I love this packaging. I think it's so fun, super vibrant, very good quality packaging. And I love the graphics. I love the mirror. I don't know how well I'm gonna be able to show it to you right here. But like, I don't even know what that's about, but every time I look at it, I laugh. Like, why is he holding his eyes open? Can someone tell me in the comments? Let me know. But this palette is, a colorful neon rainbow palette. Of course, it's not a true rainbow. There's not every color in the rainbow, but if you are looking for like bright neon shades, I'm going to suggest this palette. I love Glamlight Shimmer Formula. I don't think all of their palettes have the same shimmer formula, if I'm going to be honest with you, but the shimmers in this are just super sparkly yet smooth, like one swipe, full pigment, sparkles, gorgeousness. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. And I do like in this palette, which they don't do with all of their palettes. There are light mattes, there are mid-tone mattes, and there are deep mattes. They don't include a lot of light mattes in every single palette. So I do appreciate that there are some in here and there's just endless possibilities of looks, of course, with a colorful palette, but this one is done so well. I don't feel like the shades are redundant. And like I said, it's a fun neon colorful story with beautiful shimmers. Coming in at number two, I have the Nomad Bosque Nuboso de Monteverde palette or the Cloud Forest palette. This is the palette I always suggest when someone asks me, I want to try Nomad for the first time and I'm a color lover. This is the one I always suggest. I think this is one of their best quality palettes ever. All the mattes are very consistent. All the shimmers are very consistent. Uh, just the actual packaging is very colorful. And then on the inside, here is the color story. Again, I wouldn't call it rainbow necessarily, but we've got lots of bright tones. I would definitely say this is heavily green, but it's got lots of pops of other colors yellow, orange, pink, blue, we even have a brown, we have some purples. All of the shimmers in this are beautiful, smooth and sparkly. A lot of times with Nomad's palettes, they put maybe different formulas of shimmers. And sometimes, honestly, I don't love all the shimmers that they put in a palette. This palette, I love all the shimmers. I think they're stunningly beautiful. And you can create a maybe a neutral leaning look if you just use this brown. The mattes are easy to work with. They're not overly pigmented to the point where it's like, oh my goodness, I can't blend this out. 
but you don't have to sit there and build them up. And I do really like this duochrome hanging bridges. It's so unique. It's a green with a pink reflect. I don't know if you can see that, but I think it's so unique and beautiful. I don't know that I've ever really seen. Yeah, there you go. You can see it. I've never really seen another shade like that before. At least I can think of off the top of my head. But yeah, this is definitely my favorite colorful Nomad palette in terms of like, if you want a lot of variety of bright tones. And now coming in at number one, can I get a drum roll please? If you've been here before, I think you probably know what my number one colorful palette is. This is beat up to hell. It looks absolutely disgusting. So I apologize ahead of time, but it just shows you how well loved it is. And that is the blends palette from Blend Money. <laughs> I just love it. I just love it. I just freaking love it. Okay. Yeah. See, it's so dirty. She's been with me everywhere. Uh, this was the first palette I ever got from Blend Money. I won it in a giveaway from Bad to the Brow, Millie here on YouTube. And I never looked back since. Like this started my love for Blend Money. And I love that this is a rainbow palette that is curated. It does look big, but it's very light, very slim, super easy to pack. I am a professional ballroom dancer. And when I go to competitions every single time, I pack this every time. And I also pack like corresponding palettes that have shimmers in them as well. But I always want to take this with me just in case I want to dip in and use the mattes from this. If I'm missing a matte in a palette that I'm using, this is the one I go to. Honestly, it's so good. The quality of these matte shadows is superb. Perfect pigmentation level. They end up looking true to pan when you build them up. They are not super messy. They don't create tons of fallout. They're really easy to use for even a beginner in makeup. And this is the best rainbow palette that I own. I just freaking love it, okay? It is gorgeous. I also love that there's a black and a white, always dipping into those. And I can create a neutral look if I want to down here with these browns for sure. But I do typically use this more for the colorful shades. It's so good. It's so, so good. And it is all matte, which I love. All right, and that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I would love to know what is your favorite colorful palette or what are some of your favorite colorful palettes in your collection? Leave it in the comments because not only would I like to know, I'm sure others would like to know as well. And let me know if you want me to do this video with a different type of palette. I have done neutral palette, although I probably could update that this year sometime. I've done neutrals with a twist. I can link those down below. I'm also thinking about doing purple palettes because I do have quite a few purple palettes that I love purple. So let me know if you would like to see that or if there's any other palette videos you would like to see. Let me know in the comments because I love hearing from you. And if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot when you do that. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you would consider subscribing before you leave. I do upload videos weekly and I'd love to see you back on my channel again. I want to thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.